So we started off in Gravenhurst and it was a beautiful, gorgeous morning, pretty calm. And then as we got to the middle part of the lake, it sort of blew up a little bit and we you know, managed some good swells, as Lake Muskoka can offer sometimes in that part of the lake. And as we made our way to the river here towards Port Carling, it sort of calmed down and uh, we had great support, people honking and sort of cheering us and applauding various parts along the uh, shoreline. And it was just a lot of fun. Uh, the swim was super fun. Yeah. Um, I love swimming and I love the cause, so it just felt like something that I really wanted to do. Um, I'm very happy to promote organ donation and um, anything that we can do um, to, to shorten wait times for people waiting for an organ transplant um, would be fantastic. I had a liver transplant three years ago and waited 10 months on the waiting list, uh, which was excruciating. So uh, anything I can do to help others in that position um, would be really good. I'm a liver transplant recipient. I had a liver transplant in 2015. When I heard about the, the swim, being a swimmer myself, um, I thought what a, a, what a great way to raise awareness around uh, the organ donation issue, trying to increase registration rates, uh, hopefully in turn save some lives. So, you know, you've gone through this process. What could be done better, I guess, and, and what are you hoping to change about this with the raising awareness? Well, I come across people and uh, the majority of the time uh, they have the favorable opinion of organ donation registration. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's something I'll definitely support. But only 25% of people in Ontario are uh, actually registered. So there's a disconnect from what people are saying to what people are doing. So hopefully giving uh, or raising awareness around personal stories, uh, around um, uh, stories like this organ donation swim uh, will help people take that extra step. And that's why this year it's not just about organ donation, it's about changing the legislation and bringing awareness to the presumed consent or opt-out legisla legislation that was recently adopted in Nova Scotia as well as many European countries. You know, it's our fourth year and uh, every year it seems to grow a bit bigger. Uh, a bit more attention which is uh, we appreciate and uh, people are sort of understanding more of what we're trying to do and bring awareness to this important issue around organ donation which uh, is something we could all uh, have a hand in affecting and, and I think this is our small part of trying to do that.